my FMF gnarly pipe on my 17 has become a little bit bent. If you look here, uh, the Kickstarter is touching the top of the pipe and it kind of rattles when you're going along. And then uh, you look under the radiator, there's virtually no clearance. I think what happened is um, when I was riding, I hit something and you can see there is a dent here and it's pushed it up and bent the uh, head of the pipe. And if you look around the other side, um, there's still some clearance between the pipe and the frame. Uh, but it's a little bit less than it should be. Um, so I'm going to use my Hydra Force and uh, blow it out and uh, see how it goes. Okay, so this is the Hydra Force kit used for blowing out dents in two-stroke pipes. I've made a couple of videos before about it, so I'm not going to go into too much detail. Uh, but I did want to point out that um, I was having problems with uh, blowing out the O-ring. Um, on the pipe uh, when pressurizing it and I tried doing it all sorts of adjustments um, but I didn't have much success I got very frustrated in the end and uh, decided to make my own bung and uh, this is what I came up with so it's a bit more complex but it's very sturdy and bolts on and uh, I used it this morning worked perfectly so I'm much more confident with this and a lot less frustration and I, once I've made it I can save a lot of time Okay, and the new uh, pipe bunk fits on very easily. Um, it's got these two uh, locking key pieces, uh, which go either side of the pipe like that. And once those are on, you just pull up the plate and uh, these key pieces lock the plate in place. So when you bolt it to the other piece, there's no way it can pull off. And then you've got your gasket and the other plate uh, just bolts on like that. So very simple and extremely secure um, and pretty much there's no way it can leak if you uh, bolt it up correctly. So I've been really pleased with this and uh, we'll see how it goes with this pipe. And you can see here uh, clearly the header of the pipe is quite bent so I, I want to take that out and uh, I might have to do some hammering along here uh, to repair it well. And also I'm going to take this dent out here which I showed you before. Okay, so I've got the bung mounted on the pipe, and the pipe is actually full of water. I filled it from here, and then put this bung on, and I've secured this. So both bungs are tightened. Um, all I need to do now is bleed the air out, and uh, as this is a very important step uh, when using the Hydra Force, um, I thought I'd show it again, um, how to do it. So you want to make sure it's full of water, and when you're bleeding, you can just use your thumb and uh, you want to start getting the air out from this section. So hold it up so the air travels up and then allow the air to go to the highest point. And so you just tip it round and make sure the, the air goes up like that. And this will leave the air in this part. And so you can just give a couple of pumps to fill it up with more water and then repeat it. So it's a super important part. If you have a lot of air in, um, it can act explosively, uh, so it can be very dangerous. So you want to make sure you've bled all the air out. So do it at least two times, and uh, I'd say bleed it until um, you don't get any more air. So it remains full, and then you're pretty sure it's fully bled. Okay, I'm going to start pumping now. Um, it's still on zero. It's going up quickly. 200 PSI, 300, 400, and that is 500 now. And I'm going to leave it at 500 and do some hammering. Okay, so I'm going to hammer on uh, this ridge here and uh, try and flatten it out, which will... Uh, make the neck uh, straighten out more, so... And this den is almost gone even without hammering. Um, I'm going to do a little bit.
and that's taken it out really nicely. And here's the uh, factory dent which fits under the radiator, so when I've finished I'm going to have to uh, hammer that down. Uh, but I've noticed a couple of other small dents, so there's one there, one here and one here, so I'm going to try and get these out as well with some hammering. Okay, so that's looking good now, and I'm going to finish there. Okay, so this is the pipe back on the bike, and you can see now I have clearance under the Kickstarter, which is great. No more rattling around on there. Um, I've also got uh, quite a bit more clearance under the radiator, which is good as well. And I got rid of uh, the dent under here. Um, I wasn't too concerned about the dents. They weren't very big, uh, but I thought I might as well do them uh, while I was at it. And around this side, um, I've got uh, a bit more clearance there as well. So the header straightened out very nicely and returned to its original shape. Um, when I was putting the pipe back on the bike, I really didn't have to do any tweaking. I did straighten up the bracket, so this bracket was bent, and also this one up here. Uh, so I used some Nipex uh, to straighten those up, and uh, it bolted straight in, so really nice. Um, I really love the um, Hydroforce. Um, it's very easy to use, very quick. Uh, you can do repairs nice and safely. Highly recommend getting one if you have a two-stroke.